Marie Curie's old notebooks are so dangerous, they have to be kept in special lead-lined boxes, and they'll stay that way for over 1,000 years. Yes, her handwriting could actually harm you, and that's because her pages are still glowing with the power of radioactivity. Back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, Marie Curie was a brilliant scientist living in France. She wasn't just smart, she was curious in a way most people weren't. While others were studying simple science, Marie stepped into a world no one had fully explored, the world of invisible energy. She discovered two new elements, radium and polonium, and she gave the mysterious power they held a name, radioactivity. At the time, no one knew how dangerous it was. She worked in a tiny homemade lab, handling glowing samples without gloves or masks. She carried radioactive bottles in her pockets. She even kept glowing substances next to her bed because she thought they were fascinating. But the things she was working with were silently hurting her. Her bones, her blood, even her notebooks, all became soaked in radiation. Now over a hundred years later, her notebooks are stored in the National Library in France. But no one can just walk in and read them. Researchers have to wear full protective suits and sign special forms before they're allowed anywhere near the pages. Even flipping through her notes could be risky. And they'll stay that way for another 1,500 years. But why do people still care about those old pages? Because Marie Curie changed the world. Her discoveries led to new treatments for cancer. They helped build the science behind nuclear energy. She opened the door to ideas that are still saving lives today. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, and she won it twice. Her life was full of questions, experiments, and big risks. She didn't have fancy tools or a big lab team, just courage, brain power, and a fierce belief that the unknown was worth chasing. So next time you're in science class, remember, one woman, a glowing notebook, and a brave heart pushed science into the future at a cost we're still measuring today.